Good morning, team. Quick little preview for our runners over the weekend. Firstly, hopefully everyone is well and made a little bit of money at Grafton, and hopefully we can continue that run going into into tomorrow. But we kick off today at Doomburn. We have Axe and seen too many there. Axe, look, he finds the right race. He's drawn uh, drawn a kind barrier. He's coming back from the thirteen fifty to the twelve hundred, a little bit of a soft track. So I think that brings him into that well. Just been sitting on the fence because we're deep into the preparation. This is first prep in the stable. So just been a little bit worried that we may have gone to the well one too many times, but we're trying to line him up for the magic million. So we just don't want him spelling the paddock for uh, longer than he need to. So we're just timing it right to get to the magic millions in January. So we're gonna give him this one more run, then he'll be in the paddock on Monday. Uh, but Jag, uh, Guffman Chester gave me a on Tuesday and pretty much said, look, he doesn't get beat. But uh, I've just been a little bit worried that he could be looking for the paddock. So but there's no negative signs. There's no reason why he can't continue on with his uh, uh, his form. He's been absolutely airborne. Trodded up sound this morning, looks great. So hopefully he can just jump well and uh, and put them away. But uh, I'm just sitting on the sitting on the fence a little bit. But hopefully Jag's comments I've um, never had a jockey be so confident coming off track work. Uh, we then have seen too many. She's uh, she's come back from Sydney in fine order. She looks like she's improved. Only a very small field, which should play into her favour. She'll just um, be nice and cosy in the run, and hopefully she can just run over over the top of them because she's very, very well. The only chink in her armour is if she could be looking for further now, but we've kept her nice and fresh, and we're very happy with her. We then head over to Grafton on Sunday. A couple of favourites down there. Divine Factor. Look, she's working like she should be winning. Uh, potentially, she'd ideal world, she'd want 1,200, but I'm hoping she can get away with it. Andrew Malliam rides them all and is in fine form and riding really well for the stable. I think she's a very, very strong chance. Uh, we then have the catch. He's up to 1,700. I think that'll really suit him, that increase in distance, and it looks a, looks a suitable race for him. He did have the one run there, down there at Grafton, and hopefully it wasn't the track that he didn't handle because he didn't run up to as well as we would have hoped, even though he got back and uh, probably had a few little excuses as well. Uh, we then have more than number one. Another horse that we would have hoped would have been a 1,200 metre race, but does look very, very winnable. Has drawn a little bit tricky, but this is a horse that should be winning in his first couple of starts. He's going extremely well. Uh, I think he's probably our best chance for the day. And get your ground. Not 100% sure if he's going to run at Grafton or Sunshine Coast yet. But um, as we've said in plenty of episodes, that he's a horse which takes a little bit of managing. So can be a little bit tricky. Uh, but look, if he ran up the, his best, he should be in the mix. So I'd probably say more than number one's the best chance for, for Grafton. But a few short price horses. Hopefully they can run up to expectations again. Good luck, everyone. And we'll be in touch. We're going to have our, our show on Tuesday of next week. And we'll do a full catch up and hopefully plenty more to talk about.